Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Chef Mark Forgion, thank you for welcome to the Bowder BB Show here in Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for coming with coming to us to talk about National Farmers Day. Right. I'd love to hear some information that you have about dishes, and so we can get some good advice from you. Absolutely. Um, so um, you know, we're here to talk about dairy. Um, you know, and my uh, beautiful partnership with the Undeniably Dairy campaign. Um, and, you know, I'm really here to just talk about, you know, dairy as a local uh, farm, part of the farm-to-table movement. Um, you know, I look at dairy as almost the unsung hero when it comes to all that. You know, I think when people think of farm-to-table and, and the local farming, uh, getting it into the restaurants and into your houses, you know, people kind of think about these, like, exotic heirloom tomatoes or heirloom beans and vegetables and all that kind of stuff, you know, but <clears throat> the, the, the dairy and the dairy farmer is just as important and just as necessary to get it all in. I think we can all agree, you know, incorporating, um, you know, cheese and butter and milk and cream, you know, it's something that we do on a daily basis. Um, and, you know, uh, every time you do it, you're supporting one of those local farmers out there. Well, I think it's because our lifestyles, for many of us, is so disconnected from where our food comes from, you know, the old adage where we think it comes from the supermarket. So we stop honoring people who create food for us. But I want my audience to remember that National Farmers Day is October the 12th. And today I get to talk to Chef Mark about food and its power to be connecting and as it connects us to our friends, our community, and this planet. Chef Mark, why is it so important for people to know where their food comes from, or specifically, as you say, about the dairy farmer? Yeah, well, people don't realize, you know, 97% of, of, of all dairy farms are, uh, in the U.S. are family-owned, you know, from generation to generation to generation, you know, which in today's world is not something that is as common as it may have used to be. Um, so, you know, uh, the direct... Uh, support that you're giving to a beautiful family-owned business just by, you know, drinking a glass of milk uh, w when you're having dinner or, you know, breakfast or lunch. You know, you choose. People might not even realize it, but almost every American oh. lives within 100 miles of a dairy farm. I am so sorry. I did not introduce you. Who do we have with Chef Mark? They told me only had Chef Mark this morning. This is, this is Nate? Yep, this is Nate. I'm, I'm a dairy farmer here in upstate New York, so... So I'm Mark's local dairy farmer, uh, but, you know, wherever you are, there is a dairy farm within 100 miles of you, you know, making beautiful dairy products for you, caring for their cows, and, and wanting to help you know more about the food you're eating and, and answer your questions. You know, and we were talking before about, uh, you know, you were saying that, you know, some people don't realize, you know, uh, putting that connect, you know, to the food uh, or, or the dairy or all that kind of stuff, and I could tell you firsthand you know, visiting Nate at his farm, it was one of the most eye-opening experiences to see how, how much care and, uh, you know, how much love really goes into these, these cows from, you know, the moment they're born uh, all the way up until the milk. Chef, I'm going to ask you about a little bit about recipes using the ingredients, but Nate, I'd like to know, if we could imagine a world where there were no dairy farmers, how do you think life would be for us? I might starve to death. <laughs> you know, you, you think about all the things that you eat. You know, you think about butter, cheese, milk, yogurt. You know, those are the upfront dairy products. But dairy is also incorporated into so many other things that we enjoy. You know, it adds that flavor and it makes things taste better. And, you know, and it's good for you. Uh, to not have that, uh, gosh, I, I don't even want to think about what that would be like. And I just want to stimulate people's uh, uh, sense of, of what you need to survive 
you know, in in our society. This is such an ingrained part of our uh, society, all the products you guys have listed. And if they were to go away from the shelves, our lives would change dramatically. And like you say, we can't even imagine. Chef Mark, how do we incorporate these great ingredients in meals? Give us some, some of this professional information. Well, you know, today in particular, you know, I'm taking something you know, that is a very, very traditional, classic, you know, Italian dish. You know, my last name is Forgione at the end of the day. Um, you know, and traditionally in risotto, you know, you would start with, with your olive oil, your onions, and, you know, hit the, the rice with the white wine um, and all that kind of stuff. And what I've decided to do to kind of up the ante um, is we've taken a little bit of, of half and half. Um, you know, one of my favorite dairy products, this is a, a little mascarpone cheese. And then, you know, to finish it all off and... You know, kind of make it, you know, for a little easier maybe for Americans to kind of, uh, you know, accept on their table. It's kind of making it like a luxurious mac and cheese. Um, so, um, you know, it's really taking something that, uh, you know, we've had a thousand times before, but just making it uh, a little more luxurious by taking some of these dairy products. Well, you've made us very hungry already this morning. Uh, where can can we go online and find out any of this information? Because I love for my audience to be well educated. Yeah, when people have questions about dairy, you're going to go online, and so undeniably dairy dot org is the place to go to learn more about your dairy products and the people that are making them. You know, and how we're caring for our cows every day. Well, I want to thank you both, Chef Mark Foggioni and Nate Chitterding. I really appreciate you being on the Valder BB Show and talking about some of my favorite ingredients. Thanks thank for you for being you. my guest.